Built on two very different philosophies, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford and the U.K.'s Queen Elizabeth represent rival visions of naval power. But which design truly defines the future of carriers? The Ford class is a 100,000-ton nuclear-powered giant running on two powerful nuclear reactors that give it virtually unlimited range. It can hit speeds over 30 knots and launch 160 sorties a day using its emails, catapults, and advanced arresting gear. With a massive air wing of up to 90 aircraft including F-35s, F-A-18, and E-2Ds. It's a floating airbase built for full-scale war. On the other hand, the Queen Elizabeth class is smaller at 65,000 tons and is conventionally powered. It uses a ski jump instead of catapults to launch its F-35B stealth jets. While its sortie rate and range are lower, it excels in flexibility and speed, carrying up to 50 aircraft for amphibious or coalition missions. So which design is better? In the end, the Gerald R. Ford takes the crown. Its sheer size nuclear endurance, and unmatched air wing capacity make it the ultimate symbol of sea power and global reach. The Queen Elizabeth is innovative, efficient, and perfectly suited for regional missions, but the Ford is in a class of its own, built to project American power anywhere on Earth, anytime. Which one do you think defines the future of aircraft carriers? Let us know in the comments.